All right, we're going to watch Sam's butterfly here from the side view. Um, and as we're going through this related quarter speed, Sam, um, want you to make sure you're taking some time to look at the notes that are in the email, different things that Lynette's seen that she wants you to work on, different things that Lynette sees that you think you're doing really well. And they're kind of a great tool that you can work on and read before or after practices or before or after a meet, um, even before your races, if you don't have time to watch the whole video, just different verbal cues that we see uh, that we really think we can help you to continue to improve upon. Um, to be honest, the one thing I noticed real quick was this fly looks really good underwater. Uh, there's a couple of things we see real quick that we definitely need to work on, but all in all, I was very impressed. You know, it's kind of fun to get a chance to see what we look like underwater, and, and a lot of stuff that you did there was really good. Now, as you can tell, you forgot to do the turn there, um, but we'll have other opportunities to see your turn here soon. But we definitely got to work on a couple different things here, especially the streamlines, and we're going to kind of start everything over and take it from square one. All right, so Sam, as we go through this, I'm going to kind of draw a little bit on the on the video as well, just kind of show you some of the things that we're looking at that we're seeing. All right, so the first thing we kind of see is on this breath here, it looks like you're really, really high in the water. And one of the ways we can kind of tell that coming up too high is that you can't see your shoulders or your chest very much in the water, but your hips are also a little bit low, which means you're coming up too high to breathe. So work on making sure that you're just lifting that chin right above the surface of the water so that it's more like you're skating right across the water. As your head starts to come down, you do a great job right away of eyes down and your head's down before those hands are entering the water, which is absolutely what we want to see every single time. So that's fantastic. The other thing, we your hands are a little bit white here, but not as white as some of the other ones. Make sure that your hands are entering really, and if you reach your hands out right here and just go shoulder width apart like Superman, that's where you want those hands entering. So here you're a little wide, but not nearly as bad as what we've been seeing. Um, so we're pretty impressed with this right away. As you start that pull, you can see that you lifted your head up a little bit and then you drop it back down. Keep those eyes down. One of the things we like to say a lot is keep your spine in line. And so if you just stand up, your head looks straight forward. When you're laying down, your head should be looking straight down. You don't want to lift your head up and then try to walk that way because you won't see anything. Keep your head down. Focus on what's going on at the bottom of the pool. Kick behind you looks pretty good. You have a strong kick at the top and a kick at the bottom. So that's a great two-beat kick, Sam. We really like that a lot. Again, great job getting your head down. Let's see where we are when we don't breathe. Okay, so when you're not breathing, here is not a breath. You can kind of see that your chin, your mouth, and even your nose a little bit in the water. Try not to let that head come up quite so high on a, on a non-breath stroke. Good hand entry. The other thing we really like is we like when your hands are high like this. You got your hips high, and then you got your head low, and you've got what we see is this power triangle, which really shows where you're getting the most the most of your strength coming from is keeping your hands high and getting that head down. You could actually drop that chin down a little bit lower and that chest down a little bit lower and keep those hands high. And that's going to help you get even more strength and more power. So great job there, Sam. One more to get rid of. And then as we're watching that kick as well, right here, you got a good body line. You're high in that water. Your legs are up high. That's fantastic. Uh, a couple times when you breathe, and let's see what we do right here. All right. So when we bre breathe right here, you can see a little bit late. All right, so your head's in the water here, but look at how low your hands are. Okay, they're more than halfway through that pull, and then you're just starting to lift that head up. Get that head up a little bit earlier. And because you're breathing so late, your hips really fall down and your knees, here's your feet, here's your knees. That's a lot of space in between. Okay, so work on keeping those feet a little bit higher in that water for us. Again, great job of head position. Kick looks good, especially when you're not breathing. Your kick looks perfect. Now you take that last stroke on the wall, you lift your head up and take a breath. 
Don't breathe. Last stroke into the wall. Especially don't breathe going into your turn. And again, we can't see your turn here because we really didn't do it. But a couple things we are going to talk about real quick is don't push off straight on your belly. Make sure you're on your side a little bit. And also you can kind of see that your hands, while they're in a streamlined position, they aren't perfectly streamlined. We want those hands one on top of the other, not so much side by side there. Good job of waiting the dolphin kick. But I was hoping to see six dolphin kicks, and I saw one, and then we see a breath right away. Here's where the flags are. Here's where the flags are, right here. If we do the six dolphin kicks, we're going to get past the, past the flags instead. First breath and no dolphin kicks. Got to get, and maybe I'll give you one, right? But you need how many? Six dolphin kicks every single time. And then first stroke without a breath. Okay, Sam? I mean, you can do it. I know you can. But really... That looks so good. Uh, the one thing we do see that we want you to be a little bit careful on, and I can show you right here because it's right across from us, so it kind of is like a perfect view. All right, right here. See how your hands are kind of trailing your elbows? You're pulling more with your elbows here than your hands. What you should have is your hands right here at this point so that your hands are doing all the pulling. Your elbows are just staying in place. You kind of see those elbows come through, and then there you start to swivel and start to use those arms, and so that's good at the end. But work on just starting that pull just a little bit earlier, Sam. Okay? Dude, excellent job. Very pleased.